there is a certain satisfying symmetry to a 3x3 grid think of the solved edge of a Rubik's Cube, your Instagram top 9, or the tied up terminus of a round of tic-tac-toe with your nephew when the board is finally full and you don't have to play anymore like the rest of the big German automakers. Mercedes has long had a three-tiered approach to sedan production, in ascending sizes from small to medium to large the C, E, and S classes are stalwarts. The occupants of the left-hand vertical column of a standard Benz 3 by 3 square. But the brand has recently been busy proliferating its car lineup in an almost metastatic way. Filling in the rest of the boxes in this four-door two-door convertible matrix now it is finally releasing the vehicle that occupies the middle of the middle, the middle row of the middle column and any Hollywood Squares fan knows you can't win the game without the center square. This car is the 2018 Mercedes-Benz E-Class Coupe, which will join its sedan brother this summer, a new convertible will join the lineup later this year. The simple answer to what differentiates this car from its sibling is that it lacks rear doors, as well as the barriers between the front and rear windows and any framing surrounding them but the true differences lie a bit deeper in the E-Coupe's physical makeup the two doors shorter, wider, and lower than the sedan, and rides on a wheelbase that eliminates a few inches between the wheel wells. But it is nearly 5 inches longer than its predecessor, the previous generation E-Class Coupe, and just about all of that room goes into the cabin, to briefly confuse things. The last E-Class Coupe was actually based on the C-Class, which explains the size difference. What this means is that the Coupe has a lower center of gravity, and a slightly more sporty appearance than the sedan, and that people of normal size can ride in the carefully carved back seat without feeling like the trash in a compactor, 